Oh, well, we that one. So we got a couple calls. Jamie and I are heading up to Molly's Mountain, the little name I just made up, to get a Toyota that's broken down. Jake and Colby are gonna be following us in the rollback because we're gonna have to take this back to safety. Meanwhile, Hefe and Rhett, where is Rhett? Rhett's coming, but Hefe and Rhett are gonna go scope out another job to see what it's gonna to take to get it out. The customer can't tell us where it is, but they wanna take us to it, so. You're on a recon mission. Yes. Hopefully we don't get stuck. It's in a wash. What are you taking? The Bronco. All right, we're rolling in the rollback. We're following Matt and Jamie in the banana. We're gonna go up to the mountain, see what we got. I really love driving the rollback because it's got so many features. All these buttons, I feel like I'm in, uh, what's that movie, Star Wars with the Millennium Falcon and he's hitting the buttons and they zoom off. I feel like that every time I'm in this thing. Matt's taking us down a dirt road. Does he know I'm in a rollback? Matt said that we were gonna stay on pavement in the rollback, but we have left the pavement. It is so pretty out here. You can tell we've gotten water this summer. The guy's out there somewhere. What does your sign language mean? That way we can just pull them straight on. This is what I love. Check out the buttons. Ooh. been a busy day. I can start it, can't keep running. Start it, can't keep it running. Just get her back. I just live on the other side of the little hill there. Okay. <laughs> well, we can just push you off. Pull you up there and push you off. Well, that's what I was trying to do, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I just bought this dang thing. I wanted to see what it does on the dirt. It never did anything. But I wanted to be on a safe trail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it is definitely out of fuel. It's yeah, not, fuel not got enough fuel to make power. <laughs> All right, I'll just get turned around and we'll get hooked up. And yeah, I, it. it took me 10 minutes to get it turned around, but I was able to. Oh, just well, I appreciate it. Little pieces, little parts at a time. <laughs> All right, Jamie, you're pulling me out of here. Okay. All right, I think they got the transfer case in neutral. Um, we'll find out in a second, though. Yep, transfer case is in neutral. Well, I guess he's ready. He didn't tell me he was, but we're going. Looks like we're going to have to lock the hubs in. Do you want me to get those for you? Yep. Okay, there's a trick when you're dead stick in a Toyota like this, or really any vehicle with power steering and you're in rough terrain. Um, keep your knees up against the bottom of the steering wheel and use it as a damper, and that'll keep you from breaking your thumbs because you're not strong enough to hold it like this, so use your legs to do it. It works really, really well. So the wrecker's actually down right now. We've got to get it in the shop for repairs. So the job that Hefe's going to look at right now, that looks like the wrecker job from the pictures, but I know we can get it with 
both the banana and the Morbert just won't be as easy. But like Joe Dirt said, I don't have no in my heart. As long as I never have no in my heart. We'll get some intel from Hefe and Rhett, and then we'll make a plan and we'll go get that one out. So we found the customer. They're gonna take us to the vehicle. I guess it's their daughter that got it stuck or something. So we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on with it. This road looks familiar. That's because we drove a certain gold car out of here and had a blast doing it. <laughs> that other job was out that way though. We've never been up the wash. So we're getting, I think it's a Ford Exploder or Expedition or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. The pictures weren't too detailed on it. So, but I think there's a cave up here somewhere. We should go check that out. I wanna see if we can get into it. That'd be sweet. The road doesn't seem that bad. It just seems like a wash. I wonder how they got stuck. Cause I mean, this isn't terrible. Red Cliff Desert Reserve. Hmm. We got brake lights out. Yeah, the left one, I think. It has come quite apparent that the banana needs some maintenance. Yeah, this is the only kind that I don't have. I have record games and I have some others. have this one. Oh, nice. You completed <laughs> the set. This is such a weird place, in my opinion, for people to come. It's got to be the cave, right? It's, what else would it's attract It's got to be people? one of the ways to it, because there's people right there. What the heck happened? Is that it? Yeah, it's got to be. Let's go check it out. Oh, oh man. That's a bummer, man. Yeah, we tried to dig out underneath the wheels there, uh -huh. under there, and I, I got a 9,000 pound winch. I tried to pull, I couldn't budge it. We couldn't move it. Wow. So does it still run? Well, that's what we about, I'm about to find out. I bet they were doing about 40 when he hit this. What do you they, think? They had he, to be going, going slow. They had to be going pretty quick for that. Yeah, they had to be going like a maniac. <laughs> you can tell water's been all, look at that. It's been all up in oh, here, man. All right, so I just talked to Hefe. He's gathering a list of things we need to get this done. So we're gonna go do that job next. This one's this one's a wrap. When I talked to Hefe, he said this next job could probably be done with the Bronco and the banana. But I'm thinking, let's take a little extra lead with us, get Dig Dug out there. So I called Tom, he says he's in. So I got a call from Matt saying he's got a job over in the Bloomington Caves area. Jobs never really come in at a convenient time. They just come in in the middle of the day when you're doing something else and you got to drop what you're doing and take off and go help somebody out. But that's the nature of this business and I've actually really grown to enjoy it. So we'll go see what's going on out there. We're going to meet him in a minute. We're going to go do this job before the sun goes down. Let's finally get a weather report for today's happenings. It's beautiful. It's like fall weather, 80 degrees. It feels like it's raining back here because I got this mouth right here. This plan is coming together. I think old Hannibal would approve. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, so we're here at the gas station. Tom's gonna meet us here. We don't need any gas, but we do need some groceries. Hydrate. So I just found out that Colin actually went along with Hefe and Rhett, and I know that boy's hungry. So we're going to get him some delicious food. This will keep him going. I am out of gas on the side of the freeway, rolling to a stop right now. Why did we buy a gas can? Well, while well, you were gone, we got a phone call from Tom, and he said he's out of gas. Are you serious? I think he's pretty serious. Oh my goodness. I think it's ridiculous that a guy of Tom Tom's caliper would run out of gas. I expect that out of a guy like me, but Tom Tom, it's shameful. My other question is, why is there a lime in here? How did that get in there? What are we doing? It's with almost the like lime? Jamie's not on the same page as the rest of us. All right, we're gonna go get him. I'm sitting in the back of my truck because it's shady back here and I don't have AC, and even if I did, the truck won't run. I found a piece of beef jerky. I got something to drink. I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for Matt. Shouldn't be too long. 
So while we're waiting for my dad, we're gonna go look at the Bloomington Caves. I have been to this cave before. It was a long time ago. I was probably 12. Big cave system, it's awesome. You may need a permit for it. We're at least gonna see what it looks like. Look how big that sucker it's is. It's huge, I'm telling you. So there's different entrances, south entrance, north entrance. There it is. What, is that really the entrance? That it? Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Yep, right here. Yeah, it's locked right now. But uh, down here, another 20 feet, you go through a little tunnel and then it opens up to the big room. And it's like crazy. It's awesome. So we've come as far as we can come. This is, this is it, but that is, sweet. man, that makes me want to go caving now. These caves are also made from earthquakes. <laughs> they're, they're they're separated. They're not made from water or anything like that. They're just earthquakes break them apart. We should probably follow this rule more often. We're gonna be a little bit late. Tom Tom ran out of gas, so we're taking him some gas. Okay, sounds good. He's not even shocked. <laughs> I can't wait till you see the snack I got you. I see him right there. <laughs> Let's see if they give me a hard time or not. How's it going? Good. What do you, you got some gas? Wow, brand new jug, huh? Yeah, he made me buy a new jug. We should another, keep these another around. Another empty jug to just <laughs> leave at the shop Cow. somewhere. Yep. Maybe what, is, what, is the, what does this thing do? It's designed to spill gas. Oh, it's gonna work. Oh, you got it. We are all filled up, as I suspected. Matt did not have a single bad word to say about running out of gas. It's true. But Tom Tom, it's shameful. A few more minutes, we're gonna be on dirt. And we're gonna go get that vehicle out. It's my right, wait up. Dig just having a good time. Yeah, Thank welcome. You. This is my first time in your truck. Oh, man. is it? Yeah. Right I'm on. Stoked. Don't touch this area right here. Uh, noted. Noted. Try to go up. Whoa, it looks like he's doing three wheel motion. Is it got a flat tire? No, I think it's just in a hole. Oh my. I'm famished. What'd you bring? What's up? A lime, because I don't want you to get scurvy. Did you bring anything else? No. If you don't want them to be too sour, you eat them like an apple. Somebody broke hmm. the door's been unlocked. I asked my dad to bring us some treats. This is what we got. A lime, some donuts, and some hot Cheetos. Gotta have a balanced breakfast, guys. So from this angle, it looks like it suctions down. But then you come, there's the keys. It's been through here for 12 days. Oh, really? So it's been through a wash. This river was over the hood. It had to have water way up here. Oh, yeah. They chose to drive it up. Yeah, it could have floated on from upstream. And then it's, it's done some deep water. But if they drove, if they yeah. said they drove it, then they drove it. This is gnarly. What is this piece of wood doing here? I think they tried getting it out. Yeah. It's completely totaled. What's your plan? I'm making it right now. So Colin, yeah. I want you to jump in the banana and I want you to park it right here. I want the back wheels right here. Hefe, uh -huh. I want the Bronco anchored to the banana. Well, Tom, I want you right here about parallel with the back bumper. We'll put the toe point in there. And I want somebody inside there, probably Colin, 
turning as hard as he can to the left in neutral. You need to try and bring him up out? Yeah, we're just going to try to skid it. and We've got to get it off that rock and get all four tires on it. But I'm, it's going to tip a little bit because these tires are here. Yeah. And that may make it better. But with your front wheels up right here, hopefully you'll be lifting up. Dogs have had a pretty big day. Okay. Am I over far enough? Or? You want me this way a couple more feet? You're fine. Just put a toe point in there. Because okay. I, I kind of want this to come back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It won't go on the neutral. You know, that rock might be on the shifter. There are so many rocks up there. Wiggle it. I'm wiggling it. All right, let's just pull for a second and see if we can make something happen. Oh, don't pull anymore. <laughs> Try and put it in neutral. Yeah, nothing. nothing huh? This thing's been in a lot of water. Okay, go ahead and try it, Colin. Nothing. Okay. We gotta get that thing in neutral or we're not gonna get it out of here. Yeah. yeah this button won't let me click. Got it. I it right off of there. All right, so we pried the shift cable connector off of that. So I should be able to knock that anywhere. Okay, we are no longer in Our gear. Gear. So this, I mean, these are probably all full of mud. They're not going to want to roll. <laughs> but Tom, now I need you straight behind, okay. and let's put you on a kinetic rope. All right, we've got the transmission out of park, but I'm thinking all four of these wheels are gonna be gummed up with mud. They're not gonna to wanna to roll. It's gonna be like the golden nugget. First half mile we pulled that thing, the wheels were locked up and they just one at a time unlocked. This one's probably gonna be similar. The way I've got it set up right now, I've got my winch on free spool, so it's gonna be having no effect on the vehicle. I just want Tom to pop this back about two and a half, three feet and uh, we're gonna try a dead pull first and then we're gonna ease up on the pops. Okay, back it up three feet. Give her some juice. Right there, right there. Give her some juice. Right there, straighten your wheels out. All the juice from the beginning. Keep that pressure on there. Did any of them look like they wanted to roll at all? This back driver's side is rolling. Put some pressure on it. So I need you to store energy in the truck and there's no traction down there. Yeah. So when I say give it all the beans, like to the floor, cause you don't have enough space yeah. to get going very far. So creep forward. So this is going to be all the beans, but when you hit the end of the rope, let off so you're not digging down. Gotcha. Am I off that rock? No. Okay, go for it. Okay, back up. This is too risky. Well, it 
got that one. I love synthetic ropes when they break compared to steel. So that was just too sharp for that. You put a soft shackle on there? Well, I've got this that I can put in right here. Okay. And yeah, that and it, is, it is protected. Man, that is really sharp. So maybe we should get a soft shackle and then put this around destroy. it so we don't lose the, the rope. We might lose a soft shackle. Yeah. But I did like what it was doing. We just got to get it out of those holes. The problem is, is we're back on that rock, right? Yes. You're like this far from coming off the rock. We're not snagged on the no, rock though. No. I'm gonna go up to the front and that should get you completely off the rock and then you should be able to pull him back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tom. Can you turn the wheel to the right to the driver? Yeah. Okay, right there. Okay. So we got it off the rock. We got it out of the holes. And now it should roll. Parking brake off. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's rolling. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna turn it around right here with trickery. Keep going. Here, let me help. It. Yeah, let me help. You ready? And hold it. Pepe, let's get you unhooked. Okay. And then I'm gonna get set up right here. Why don't you put right here? And, then... and, I'll, and we'll pull him and turn him at the same time. We're gonna spin this around and then we'll dip, dig Doug will pull it out. Dig Doug yeah. pull it out. We still don't wanna like tear this thing to absolute pieces. But it's nice to know that it's completely totaled and nothing salvageable on it. Okay, Rhett, turn your wheels left. Keep that wheel cranked all the way to the right. Okay, hit it with a little bit of gusto. Do a medium rare. Best way? Probably not. <laughs> is, it a way. is it a is it is it a way? Probably. Little different. All right. Well, we're not out of here, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's been a long week yes it has i mean it's been ed's gold mine for three days well this ain't it again gold prospecting's hard and then no sleep then and no sleep since then and just this it's been a week it's been a week and it ain't, it ain't over it's what is it today it's friday it's friday it ain't over it's not over till i'm dead so we just don't want to de-bead that tire. So just take it nice and easy for a second and I'll scream if I want you to stop. Scream real loud. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we should try pulling this backwards and see yeah. if we can break something loose. Have Tom stop. Oh, hey, it's hey, rolling. Like I hear rocks falling. You want me to try forward again? Okay. Yeah. That don't work. Okay, stop. Okay, Hefe. Let's burn out of here. All right, we're gonna ride out of here. Colin piloting the broken vehicle. The Lincoln. You got brakes? Yeah, I got brakes. I was stiff, but I got them. <laughs> So 
So yes, I do have the door open. Why? Because it's musty in here and it's hot and there's no airflow and the window won't roll down because there's no power to do it. But the door will open and that's letting enough breeze in here to improve the quality of my ride. I'm surprised you got in here. Why did you get in here? Because I wanted to hang with my boy. Oh. I was gonna say there's a nice AC Jeep back there, Bronco. I know it. There's some nice rides out of here. I'll say one thing about that Bronco where it's got the banana beat is it's high speed smoothness and stuff like that. You can't, a solid axle will not compete with IFS in this stuff. Not at high speeds anyway. So if you've ever been towed by a strap or heaven forbid a chain, you know what a horrible experience it is. But if you've been towed by a mat recovery rope, you know how pleasant it actually can be with the proper equipment. Can I get a... Amen. Amen. Super strong, almost 30,000 pounds burst strength, super stretchy, super tough. I see the record. We are there. Yeah, good ride out. Well, that worked. Woo. We're going to send the navigator down the road. We're all going to go home, eat some dinner, enjoy the rest of the evening by sleeping if we're lucky. Thanks for watching. Did I mention that I am just absolutely exhausted? I'm ready for Red Lobster. No, not me, man. <laughs> I need a shower and then about a 15 hour nap. Well, tomorrow's Saturday. You can get your 15 hour nap. How? Because uh, it's Saturday. I've got about 36 hours of things scheduled for 24 hours tomorrow.